I can talk about the weather. What's the weather like where you are? It's like plus eight degrees Celsius in Helsinki, Finland. It sounds like it's a bit chilly in Helsinki. Do you have any plans to go outside today? Not really. Can you tell me the temperature in Toronto? It's currently six degrees Celsius in Toronto. All right, thanks. In this quick start guide, we will use vision agents to build and run real-time voice AI agent in Python that joins a video call, interacts with a user via speech, and uses Google Gemini audio generation model for responses. Vision Agents is a fully open source video AI framework for building real-time voice and video applications. It is built and maintained by the team at Stream with Stream Video as its low latency default transport, powered by Stream's global edge network. However, developers can implement any network transport they prefer, such as WebRTC or WebSockets. Since Vision Agents is a fully open source video AI framework, it is ready for your contributions. I encourage you to start a repo, test the demo app, and start building your Vision AI projects today. You can use Vision Agents to prototype and build a wide range of AI-powered video apps, including coaching and training. You can build a real-time voice agent for collaboration. You can also create a custom pipeline consisting of speech-to-text, text-to-speech, real-time models, as well as vision models for automation and robotic projects. Using Vision Agents, you can easily create video avatars, character agents, and more. Since Vision Agents supports to use, you can use it for function calling, web search, code execution, and connecting to MCP servers. The built-in MCP support in Vision Agents helps to get real-time information from any audio model you use in your application. MCP support also prevents hallucination and helps the model to provide accurate answers. Let's look at a practical example. What is the current temperature in Helsinki, Finland? I apologize, but I don't have access to current temperature information for Helsinki, Finland, or any other location. How can I help you otherwise? For the example I just showed, you noticed I wasn't able to retrieve the current weather in Helsinki, Finland. This is because the voice agent doesn't have access to MCP tools. Let's look at the same example again. This time, we will equip the voice agent with an MCP tool. Can you tell me the current temperature in Toronto? Sure. The current temperature in Toronto is 7 degrees Celsius. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Since in this example, the model has access to an MCP weather tool, we were able to retrieve the current weather in a particular location. This is the basic example we will build in this video. For advanced use cases, I encourage you to check the Vision Agents docs. Vision Agents integrates seamlessly with nearly all leading AI model providers and services. To use an LLM for your voice application, you can choose models from leading providers like OpenAI, Google Gemini, Anthropic, Grok, Mistra, and Quen. You can integrate vision models from Autralytics, RoboFlow, or use Gemini Robotics for robotic projects. By default, it integrates with real-time APIs such as Gemini Life and OpenAI Realtime. You can use the built-in voice activity detection or implement one from a third party. The video AI framework comes out of the box with 10 detection from Crisp AI. You can easily install text-to-speech plugins from leading providers like Levin Labs, Assembly AI, Cartesia, and more. To build a speech-to-text pipeline, you can easily integrate a model from DeepGram or Assembly AI. To build your first voice and video AI app with the Vision Agents framework, you can install the package from PyP. It is recommended to use UV as the package manager. UV is also open source and free to use. To get started, you just need to run UV in it and set up the required API credentials in a .m file. So launch your favorite code editor and let's get started. For this example, I will use Kesa. In Kesa, I have already opened an empty directory. So let's bring the integrated terminal with control and backtick and initialize a new Python project using UV. So by running the command UV in it, we create a new Python project with all these generated files. Let's open main.py. We will use main.py to integrate vision agents to create the voice AI application. For the demo voice agent we want to build, we need two API keys. We want to use a Gemini audio generation model from the Gemini Life API, so we need a Gemini API key. Also, we need an API key from Stream. 
Developers who want to start building with Stream receive 33,000 participant minutes free each month. If you are an indie developer or a small business, you can apply for a makeup program, which includes an additional $500 worth of credit each month. For each of the AI module providers you use, you get free development keys on their websites. So at the root of your Python project, you need to add an M file and add the API keys. So this project requires API keys such as Google API key and API key from Stream. So to get these credentials, Stream API key and Stream API secret, you should visit getstream.io and click start coding for free to sign up for a Stream account to obtain API key and secret. You can also store the API keys in your shell profile and use them in future projects. I want to show you how to store them on the Mac. You press Shift, Command and H to go to the home directory and also press Shift, Command and period. That will show all the hidden files. Over here, you look for ZSHRC or Z profile. You have noticed here, I have Z profile. So I can open this file and save all the API keys. I have already done that. Once you save the API keys in your Z profile, you press Shift, Command and period again to hide the files. So you need to go ahead and replace all these placeholders with your API credentials. As you extend and build an advanced voice and video application using Vision Agents, you may want to create custom voice pipelines and also include different AI providers. So your API key requirements will grow over time. Aside from the Stream and Gemini API keys, you may need API keys from Deepgram, Eleven Labs, OpenAI, and Cartesia. After you configure the API keys, you can go ahead and install Vision Agents. So let's use the command UV add Vision Agents and press the return key. So within a short time, we have the package installed from PyPy. When you run the command UV add Vision Agents, by default, the SDK does not install any packages. So depending on the third party plugins and AI providers you want to use, you can, for example, use this command. In this example, we add GetStream to provide our network transport. We have Gemini, OpenAI, Eleven Labs, and Deepgram. Since we are building a very basic voice agent, we need only GetStream and Gemini. So let's remove all these parts. So we have GetStream as our transport mechanism and Gemini as the LLM. I will press the return key to install the packages. Before we add any code in main.py, let's look at how our simple voice agent works. Once you launch the voice agent, it will take voice input from stream video to one of the audio generation models of Gemini. So for our simple voice agent, we connect Gemini Live API to work with stream videos backend. The Gemini Live API has built in two use. So you can, for example, do function calling, web search, and code execution. Finally, the agent's voice output is what the user hears. In main.py, let's add the following imports and get the API keys from the .m file. We import async.io for concurrent operations, such as handling real-time audio and video, login to provide capabilities for debugging and monitoring. Then we add the project imports, get stream to provide the audio and video communication, and Gemini as the LLM. We also add an import for the core agent logic and CLI utilities. Then we load the API keys from the .m file, I have already stored the API key in the shell profile of my machine, so this part is not needed. But I just wanted to show you how you will load it from the .m file. Next, I will define the main async function for call flow and the agent setup. In the main function, you specify the model you want to use. In this example, we are using the Gemini Live API. However, Vision Agents makes it easy to swap the LLM. For example, if you don't want to use Gemini Live, you can easily swap it with OpenAI Realtime API or implement a custom voice recognition and speech synthesis pipeline. Next, we create a new agent with the following configurations. We specify the edge network as GetStream to get a low latency audio and video transport. Then we add a metadata for how the agent appears to users. So we specify name and ID. Then we set instructions to guide the agent's behavior. You can also add optional processes for handling audio and video frames. Processes are useful for creating physical agents and vision AI applications, whereby you need to process objects in images and videos in real time. Next, we attach the Gemini Live model in the agent's definition. The next thing to do 
is to register the agent as a user in Stream's backend. Then we create a unique real-time audio and video call using Stream Video and launch a web UI for Stream Video. Finally, we join the call as the agent. Joining the call will open the real-time voice and video stream. Once a call is connected, we trigger a simple conversational prompt to start the voice interaction. Then we keep the agent active until the call ends. This is everything we need to do to build a very simple voice agent using the Vision Agent framework. We can all go ahead and run the Python script with uvrun main.py. Sounds good. How's the weather where you are today? It is like plus 8 degrees Celsius in Helsinki. Ah, a bit chilly then. Is it sunny or cloudy? It's a bit cloudy. Can you tell me the current temperature in Toronto? The current temperature in Toronto, Canada is 6 degrees Celsius. With few lines of Python code and using vision agents, we have been able to build a voice agent that interacts with users in real time. Vision Agents is designed to be flexible, so we can easily go ahead and swap the LLM from Gemini to OpenAI real-time, or use your preferred audio generation Gemini model. Also, you can easily implement a custom pipeline for text-to-speech and speech-to-text. In the code, if you look at the LLM definition, we didn't specify any model for Gemini Live. The Gemini Live API supports two audio generation architectures. We have native audio and half cascade audio. So we can go ahead and use any of these models in our code. I'll copy this one and go back to Kesa. Then we specify the model. I will paste the model I have in my clipboard and save the changes and run our main.py again. I can talk about the weather. What's the weather like where you are? It's like plus eight degrees Celsius in Helsinki, Finland. It sounds like it's a bit chilly in Helsinki. Do you have any plans to go outside today? Not really. Can you tell me the temperature in Toronto? It's currently 6 degrees Celsius in Toronto. All right, thanks. That is everything we have in this video. We have noticed using vision agents, we can combine real-time video, LLMs, and speech models to build interactive AI applications and experiences. Vision agents comes out of the box with speech-to-speech -speech APIs, such as Gemini Life and OpenAI Realtime. You can also integrate a custom pipeline for text-to-speech and speech-to-text using leading providers like DeepGram, Eleven Labs, Assembly AI, Cartesia, and more. If you want to build physical agents and vision AI applications, you can use model providers like RoboFlow, Ultralytics, Gemini Robotics, and the vision models from Quen. I encourage you to check out the Discord community, read the docs for advanced use cases, and how to extend the video AI framework with third-party plugins.